great pictures of art and architecture, music and dance, literature and science, and actively to bath in welfare. Greatest advancements were achieved in spheres of art, architecture, and music during King Man Singh Roman's rule. Some consider King Man Singh initiated reservations of Roman's and thus we have today the great warrior Harada. Tan Singh is considered as the greatest artist of Hindustani classical music in history. He was born in a small village called Behar, some 28 miles from Gwalior. Even today, you can see certain structural monuments in that village which bear the legacy of Tan Singh, like the inclined temple of Tan Singh's revered deity, Lord Shiva. It is said that once walls of the temple were undulated by the magnificent modulations of Tan Singh's voice, and thus adjacent walls of the corner of the temple sank into the ground. Tan Singh had come to Gwalior to get advanced training in music and completed his course from the music academy established by Bhai Man Singh Dhoma. Then he became a disciple of Swami Haridas to learn further lessons in music. By the age of 27-28, he became the greatest singer and was conferred the title of Tan Singh. Tan Singh went to Badhavgar, Riva, and met the king Ramachand, who appointed him as his war musician. As time passed, Emperor Akbar also heard about the fame of Tan Singh and sent Jalaluddin Kuchi to bring him to Agra. Immensely pleased by Tan Singh's melodious and supremely skillful voice, Akbar conferred on him the title of Nya and took him as one of his Navratnas in his court. This evening, we are going to present five ragas which are believed to be composed by Tan Singh. These ragas are among the fundamental ragas in Hindustani classical music. Raga Diva. As the legend goes, Emperor Akbar was so impressed with Tan Singh that other court musicians became extremely jealous of him and kept making plans to get rid of Tan Singh. One day, they went up to the emperor and requested that he wanted to hear Tan Singh sing Raga Diva, as he is the only one who can sing that Raga correctly. Akbar agreed with them and ordered Tan Singh to sing Raga Diva. Tan Singh politely tried to explain to the emperor about the dangerous consequences that might occur if he sings Raga Diva but Akbar persisted otherwise. So Tan Singh started singing, and soon the temperature of that area started to rise, and eventually the entire place was on fire. Though the listeners saved their lives by running away to save his sister, Tan Singh's body was already in Galta in tall flames. At that moment, Tansi's daughter sang Raga Bhimi Mathar that brought down babies from the sky and saved her father's life. Raga Bhimi is one of the six fundamental and one of the earliest rangas of Hindustan classical music. It is said that a lamp was lit up when King Vikramaditya sang Raga Bhimi According to Sanjeev Shastra, this raga originated from the east facing mouth of God Shiva.
The song was composed in this style, generally described the monsoon. And hence, during that season, this daga can be sung at any time of the day. So, this daga is considered as a seasonal daga. Sangeet Samrat Khan Singh had composed a daga named Malhana, which later came to be known as Miyaki Malhana. There are, however, a few different forms of this daga, namely Meg Malhana, Ramadasi Malhana, Nat Malhara, Gaur Malhara, Sur Malhara, etc. Tansin's daughter sang Meg Malhara to save her father's life when he was engulfed in flames by singing Raga Deepak on Emperor Mangar's request. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 